The Tracks of My Tears, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who belong to belong, and as always, our desire is to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Psalms chapter 58 and verses 8 through 11. It says, Thou tellest my wanderings, put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? God keeps our tears in a bottle, and they're recorded in a book. Listen to that, and then I'll finish the passage. It says, When I cry unto thee, then shall mine enemies turn back. This I know, for God is for me. In God will I praise his word. In the Lord will I praise his word. In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Boy, we need to, I think, find our tears again. Lou Holtz, the second year, that uh, second season that he was the head coach in Notre Dame, he lost in the Cotton Bowl to Texas A&M, and he was dejected and walking through the locker room, and he came across his players that didn't seem to be overly distraught about the loss of the game. And then he found a, a young man who was a second-string sub who was weeping, heaving sobs, about the loss of the game and right then Lou Holtz said that he was only going to let players play that loved the game as much as he did. That next season this young man that uh, that was weeping about that game was not only made a starter but he became the team captain and they won the national championship that year. Tears tell us what we're passionate about. I'm not necessarily arguing that you and I become passionate about a, a football game. I think probably we're passionate enough about that. I do think, however, there are some things in life that are worth being passionate about. I don't know if you ever had a chance to hear Connie Carricker preach uh, in Oklahoma. He was one of the best pastors God ever made. Uh, I was able to go to his church when I was singing uh, at uh, with Hillsdale with the singers that traveled there, and we went to his church, and uh, we watched him preach. I, I got to tell you, I, I've never seen a man as passionate about the gospel and about people's souls as Connie Carricker was. He had a, a pulpit that was up high, and there were a lot of steps. And he'd come, he'd come walking down those steps, man, tears streaming down his face, his old battered Bible in his hand, and he was thundering out the word of God. And I got to tell you, if you went out of that service, you didn't know that that. Uh, that he loved you, uh, Connie Carricker. If you didn't know that he loved you, you, there was something wrong with you. He he was a passionate man of God, and tears streamed down his face. I'm I got to tell you, I have I have cried tears. I know I'm a man, but I I've cried over my failings. I've wept over my sins. I, I've I've wept over my kids. Uh, man, there's nothing wrong with weeping. Your tears cleanse your soul. And you know that there's some uh, wonderful truth in the Word of God about tears. It says, if we sow in tears, we'll reap in joy, is what the Bible says. And it says that one day God will wipe away every tear from our eye. Isn't that not a powerful thing? Listen to what a story Rob Morgan puts in, in one of his books. It says, in Choice Gleaning's calendar, Alex Ross told of an elderly woman who lay dying. Her broken-hearted husband sat beside her, tenderly holding her hand. They had been married many years, and both knew the time of their parting had come. As their eyes met, a tear flowed down the old woman's wrinkled cheek. Gently, her husband wiped it away. Then with a quiver in his voice, he said, Thank God, Mary, that's the last. One day, Jesus is going to wipe away every tear from our eye. That is an amazing truth. Can you hold on until then? Can you allow your tears to draw you closer to God? Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you that our tears reveal what is treasure to us. And I pray that you would just be with these under the sound of my voice. God, I believe that many of them have wept into their pillows at night, God. They they don't want other people to see them cry. But Lord, maybe that's what we need is a rich, deep expression of the, uh, the, the emotions that you've given to us, God, as, as we look at a, at a nation uh, that is falling apart, God, that is walking away from you, running and gunning, God. I just pray that you'd help us to, to have a passion for the souls of lost men and women, boys and girls, God, who don't know you as Lord and Savior. That's why they're, they're walking down all, all these crazy, bizarre things that they're doing, God, is they need you. 
the, the Lord, help them to find you. Show yourself to them. Help us to give a rich testimony to them. I thank you, God, for these that are under the sound of my voice. I pray that you'd wipe away those tears that are coming out of their eyes right now. Store them in a bottle. Let them know that later on they'll understand the tracks of the tears and they'll understand what that means. Give them your strength, God, as they go through these difficult times. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you for watching.